And while the conversation is alive and well here at the ports, and there certainly are a lot of concerns, here in New Orleans, $50 billion plus of imports come into this port. That's according to a 2016 study. And the port says that it's seen already in the first six months of the year a 25% decline in steel imports as a result of tariffs. Add in aluminum and you get to roughly about 30%. And it's not just steel per se or this port specifically either. In Milwaukee, it's agriculture exports. In Mobile, Alabama, it's steel and agriculture. Also here in New Orleans, they're watching and very concerned about poultry and pork. This goes even a step further. There's another domino effect, and that's on infrastructure. Think of it this way. Not only are you bringing in less steel, so revenues are going down, but also the price of steel is going up. This port has to invest in infrastructure. It uses steel, so the revenues are going down, the prices of that input cost are going up, and it makes planning very, very difficult. It makes those projects very difficult to carry out as well. Take this one step further. Further, it impacts the overall supply chain as well. Ports are about 25% of U.S. GDP. So you're talking not just about the activity here. You're talking about barges, rails, trucking. You're talking about manufacturing, too. 23 million jobs depend on the revenues that come in to and out of U.S. ports as well. Now, here in New Orleans, they say they're not making any plans to lay off workers just yet, but they are keeping their projections very conservative because there are so many unknowns and they don't know what to expect in the back half of the year and next year as well. Now, it's not a total doom and gloom picture. There are certain aspects of their business that are offsetting some of these uh, lesser uh, impactful or some of these lesser ones where revenues are a little bit less. You can see the cruise ship behind me. The cruise business is pretty strong in New Orleans. Orleans says that's helping balance some things out, guys.